Today's Captain's Blog is made possible through the support of my old friend, Daniel D. Jager. Thank you, sir. Lift it up. Not all the way. Just a Mission accomplished. Hello guys, I'm Chris Bowden. Welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. It's 1310 on June 12th, 2019. And I got a boat seat problem. So I was going to take a minute and take you guys through replacing the pedestal on the big boat here. My problem is, this thing is old and chewed right to fuck. It's just, it's shot. This is all, it's just, it's bad. Okay, and it's been there for like 35 years, it's done its job, but it's slammed all the way down, and I, it's like, I'm driving Dad's truck, Dad, because you can't see out the windshield and the steering wheel is looking to so, yeah, we're going to replace the boat's pedestal. And this is a thing where I wanted to talk about this as a project, because... Well, what do I know about boat pedestals? I don't know anything about this. I don't know how they work. I, I, it's really not my thing. But the mentality of not being afraid of something is a really big deal. And that's, that's really the lesson today. Like, yeah, we'll learn how to do a boat pedestal. But the real lesson today is you look at something like this and you're like, what's the worst that could possibly happen? I'm going to screw up the seat. Okay. So why be afraid of that? And I see, I, I see a lot of people, I talk to a lot of people who, they all say this like, oh, I can't do that, I don't know anything about that. Well, hell, neither did I when I first took a shot at it, but, man, I screw this up half a dozen times, by the end of it, I'll really know how to take a boat seat apart. So, you just, it's having that mentality of not being afraid to dig in and figure it out. Now, I look at this, and it's pretty obvious, there's just four screws, because anybody who's ever put together a, a chair from Office Max or something, I mean, there's four screws that hold this plate to the bottom of the seat. This is obviously part of the seat. It's molded in, same plastic and all that. So probably I just take out these four screws and the seat will come off. Okay, now we have a, an idea. Let's do an experiment and answer the question. So I just pop this in here. Oh, that's, that's tasty. 
When you're working under things, wear safety glasses and keep your mouth shut. But I'm making a video, so I gotta talk. Now, I got screws back here. I can probably reach those. This is where I drop a seat on my head. You gotta wonder how many people are watching my videos like a NASCAR race, just waiting for the injuries and the crash. Well, the other one's just dropped right out. You should come out too. All the cool kids are doing it. Peer pressure that screw out. Alright. Tasty. This is kind of a sketchy quality seat, judging by the amount. Like, I just did an upholstery job, and I'm looking down here, and take a look at this. There's, we got all kinds of staples, and bad trimming, and liner coming out, and there's a bunch of staples. What is this shit? This, I think this has been redone by somebody who didn't really know what they were doing. I think this seat's been recovered uh, by somebody with an even lower quality of upholstery ability than me. That takes doing. So... I think that's how it comes off. I'm doing something wrong. See, we oh, it's softened. Oh, it's hooked onto the. It's catching on the upholstery in the back. Is there a middle screw, perhaps? Because that feels more solid than just catching on upholstery. Ew! There's water. Alright, so, no, we're just catching, okay, so I gotta lift this up and slide. What the fuck, over? That just goes way back. Yeah, you're not mounted there. It's just catching on the dingus. So let's try sliding that back. Yeah. yeah, it's just catching on the thing. So I gotta lean on that. Ugh. Let's kick it back. It's acting like two different assemblies. I don't want to cut it apart. That just ends bad. You see this? Like a monkey fucking a football. Okay. Yeah, there ain't nothing in there. That's fucking terrifying. I gotta get a dingus. I gotta get a bar over here. You wanna see something creepy and gross? Come take a look at this. This is this is stuff of nightmare fuel here. There's bugs. There's like wasp nests in there, and they've they've hauled bugs back for eating, and that's just that's just nasty. Oh, you're too big. Can I go that way? I'm gonna have to take out this whole fucking seat. I think the whole thing's coming out, and then I'll disassemble it up on the dock so I don't make a giant wasp mud mess here. So my bolts are there. We'll just take the whole thing out right here. That's a dumb idea. Let's. Screwdriver, so I don't show up all those screws. I got a 
two and a three. Those look like twos, but they might want a three. Let's see. Oh, wow, those are in there. Break them loose with this. Oh. Broken loose. Now see, I expected to just pull four bolts off the bottom and this would pop right off, but I was wrong. Okay, cool. Now the mentality of how you handle that is what really determines the outcome. If you go into this like, okay, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm not stupid, and I got, I got tools, probably enough tools to figure this out, and let's, let's have at it and see what happens, and the worst that can happen is I'm going to fuck up a seat that was broken anyway. So the seat didn't work when I started, so I'm not out anything. But it's taking a shot. And now, I got a curveball. I got to figure out how to separate this, and I don't want to do it in here up against the console and everything, so I'm going to take this out on the grass and beat the shit out of it, and knock all the bugs out and all that and figure it out, probably hose it off. And cool, but it's having that attitude of, yeah, I can figure this out, and now, it should be, when I just pick this up, it just moves. And what terrifying nightmares lie beneath. Wow, look at the difference in color. Also, lots of dead bugs. Oh, ain't nothing like a 30-year-old boat. So now, can I get this on the dock without falling in? Oh, it's so gross! That's so fucking gross! Oh! Oh, that's bad. That's really quite disgusting. Uh, I made it. Alright, I'm gonna sweep up all the dead bugs first, and we'll be back in just a moment. Because it's really fucking gross. <laughs> so we got the seat out on the dock, and the amount of creepy crawlies that came out of this thing just moving it up here, like, if they're just down in the base and I can just hose that out, I'm fine with that, because they're gone forever and they could have been there for 20 years. But if I find out that this thing has like shit living up inside it, or has had shit living up, there, I'm just throwing the whole thing away because fuck that noise. Um, so yeah. But now that I can get it out and visualize the thing, hey, I know where I can set this and work on it. Right here. Bridge uh, is going up. So, such a wonderful, comfortable shape to work on. Ew. Yep. I'm, uh, you come on around, look, look up in here. So what do you think? Keep it or shit can the whole thing? What are your thoughts? I can't even tell what's up there. Come, come get a look in this side. The lighting's better. 
What do you think? I mean, it's 30 years old, and the seats are cheap. <laughs> they just want a new seat. Well, I didn't want to spend the money to buy a new seat right away. But, uh, no. looking at just how, like, I just smacked this and shit's pouring out of it. I'm, nope. Nope. Fuck it. Well, is there a hose somewhere nearby since it's out of the boat anyway? Uh, yeah, I got the, uh, the water hose right there. I think I'm just gonna shit can the whole thing. <laughs> I've already got a mount, seat's a couple hundred bucks, and I can save up and buy a seat. And really, in the meantime, I can just sit on the, the pedestal. So we'll mount the pedestal today, and then put the new seat on it when, it when I get one eventually. But for now, I'm not putting this back in the boat. I don't care, a new seat ain't gonna match, it's fine. I might even get a blue one in a red boat. I don't give a shit, but that's so nasty. It's just, and there's, there's, like, I haven't seen anything alive. I don't see anything moving, but just the whole, the whole deal is pretty gross. I wish there was something I could lever against. Yeah, in there. As you can see, it hooks on the back. Oh, that goes up. Alright, I've made the decision to get a new boat, or get a new seat, so let's take a look in here, because there's something here going back. Ew. I think there's a subframe. Yeah. So this doesn't unbolt from here. I was wrong. It unhooks. Well, if it unhooks from there, how the... F it's all one thing. This goes up the back. It's, it's part of a frame. I'm throwing that blade away. So, to replace the seat, you can replace just the pedestal, but you gotta have an exact matching pedestal which is made by Springfield. It's a D3725D. But I'm just doing a whole new deal. And I think, if I'm lucky, this bolt circle is the exact same. And I think it is. We'll check that in a minute. But first, I'm going to toss this in a dumpster and we'll meet up back in the boat. Alright, so this is the nice shiny new pedestal. Now there's nothing on it that says front. But I figure the big knob should probably go in the back. And then this will swing around and go in the front, like so. That way you don't catch the knob with your heels or anything. So it looks like our boat bolt circle is about the same. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think we're going to be all right. So I'll start them all by hand, because I don't know if those are threaded inserts or how they did it, but this is definitely a thing where I don't want to cross thread anything. And when you're working with stuff like this, it's usually a good idea. Like I see guys that do it where they'll just start a bolt with a power driver and that's fine if it's designed for that, like that's how they make cars and stuff. But for a lot of stuff, especially fine thread stuff like this, where it's much lighter duty, I like to start it with my fingers or a screwdriver, depending, and then send it down all the way with a power driver or something. But I don't like to start just with a power driver because frequently I tie screw it up. There, let's see what happened. Because those were already started by hand. Then they got weird. What's going on? 
Because I put them all in about a quarter inch by hand. There's debris on it. And the real annoying thing on something like this, because I mean, I'm dealing with a 35-year-old boat, is, is it something I screwed up, or is it something one of the several previous owners screwed up? You can never really be sure. Yeah, no cross-threading. Yeah. yeah, right there. It's something hard. Alright, I'm going to leave that high and come back to it. There might be schmutz in the bolt hole, which is possible because we took the thing off and a mountain of shit fell out of it. So there might be schmutz down the bolt holes. Yep, there's a something in there too. All right, so I'm gonna clean those out and come back. But I got to get a hand sprayer for that. In the meantime, this at least is mounted. So that's maximum travel. And really, if I had... Wow, that's already better and there isn't even a seat on it. I can see outside even. Cool. Alright, well, we'll come back to this video with a part two after I get a boat seat, which could be a couple weeks. We'll see, but it's already better and really just turn sideways. That's, uh, that's better than the seat I had because this one isn't full of bugs! So yeah. Cool. Alright, you guys have fun, and don't be afraid to tackle weird things, because this ain't done yet, because it's a bigger project than I planned on, but we'll get there. We'll be done in the end. Maybe I'll just not even edit this video until it's totally done, so you get that closure. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, well, this is, this is a treat. So we do clear the engine just fine. We're good there. Guess who's inside? All right. All right. So you know what? I, fuck off. You know what I forgot to bring? What? It'd be really awesome right now. What? Pillow. <laughs> All right. I could so, probably fashion you one out of a paper towel roll. So what you doing in there? Contemplating the immortal words of Socrates. Really? Yes. You know what he said? What? I drank what? <laughs> Alright, I have an idea, but it's... This is my first idea, and it's thin. That's the only thing we can see of him. He's locked in there forever. I can hear you doing stuff. No, I'm doing stuff. Are you? Oh. Fuck. Ow. Ow. God damn it. What, what's going on? Oh, it's a party in here. Is Tons it? of room. Yeah? Oh, yeah. My homie's mobbing 40 deep, yo. stuff. Pop the hatch, or pop the, the latch. It's it's popped. Rotate it 90 degrees. Which direction? That way? Fuck you! I'll rotate the other way? No, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, it's back to normal. Let go of it! I don't have it. It's got a lot of resistance on it. Alright. Hmm. 
All right, I'm going to try plan two. Okay. Oh boy, this sounds interesting. All right, line it up to close and close it. That is closed. Okay. Wow, that's right on my extreme end of adjustment. Actuate the handle. Actuated. Rotate it counterclockwise. How far? Right there. That's 90. Yeah. Well, now it's 90. Should I hold it there? Fuck you! Oh my god. Alright. He's, he's stuck forever now. So, we have a slight problem. What's the problem? I dropped my Gerber. Do you need help? You can't help. I can't if I open this. You can't open it. You know why you can't open it? Because your thing is on the bottom of it. And because I dropped my Gerber. Oh, hang on a second. Would you like me to put it back? No. In normal position? I got this. Okay. Open the hatch. All the way up. Oh my god. Yep. I can't do it. See? Yeah. We need gas springs. Yeah. All right. How you doing? Oh my god, this sucks. All right, you got that? Yeah, I got it. Whatever, that, that thing, that fucking hurts. <laughs> that fucking hurts bad. All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take these right out. Okay. Oh, fuck, it's a bolt. All right, so we're going to have to, we'll, we'll go with the, uh, We'll set the blood camera right there. Okay. And you can hold this. And if you keep it in your vertical, it's not bad. Because I gotta grab that bolt from one side. Do you need a wrench? No, I need to figure out where the hell I put my Gerber. Okay. Now, instead of using the little metal mount mm -hmm. bolted to the fiberglass, we're going to use the actual thing, mm -hmm. which is now set to height. So bring that on down. Watch your legs. I got it. You grab the camera. Okay, so we put this 
in the latch position. Yep. So we know where everything's supposed to be. Put that on it right there. Thank you. Finger tighten that and give it just the slightest touch with that. Okay. And it's put, still. It's okay. Because we put the nylock on the bottom. Gotcha. Keep it vertical. Let go. That's where it wants to be. <laughs> you got the thing? Yep. Right. You hold the thing. I'll hold the thing. I'll tighten the nut. Do a little dance. Okay, so in that position, this bar should go under here. Exactly. Our problem is that in other positions, there's so much mass down the sides. Like, we're okay here, mm -hmm. but we're not okay at the back. Uh. So, my plan is, by having nothing there, if it's in this position, it's locked, and if it's turned 90 in either direction, it should unlock. Sure. Let's find out. I'm gonna let go. I'm I thought you were go. going in. No, 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 I'm coming out. So, in that position, it freely moves up and down. Yep. That should lock it. I can't move it. It's fucking weight alone should keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think that'll... I think that'll do. Oh. Now watch it slipped or something. And yeah. It won't open it at all. No, we got it. Okay, so it'll open in a latch. We're good. So, I'm going to tighten that down really tight, Okay. right there. Do I need to hold this or no? I'll let you know. Okay. So I need that wrench, and that wrench. One of these things is not like the other. Okay, so you're... Or that wrench. For those of you watching at home, this lid now weighs about a hundred pounds, maybe a little more. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know there were torque wrenches. I tightened it down and got a little ding, so okay. Uh, Oh, that gets really heavy if I bend over a little bit. And just for safety, we'll engage that. All right, so... That one should be good. That one's good. Now I just got to do the exact same operation on the other side. Yep. Okay. going to need these later. Hold that. Thank you. Set those there because if I need them later, I'll need them on this end. I'm going to take the dingus off. You got that for a minute? Yep. Okay, you had to think about that. Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, if you fuck up, this hurts really bad. One minute and no longer. That's all you got. shaking. Got it. <laughs> 
<laughs> Take a breather. Okay. Find your chewy center. Alright, so you're damn near down where you need to be. Alright, I'm going in. Hang on, let me switch hands. Take your time. You good? Yep. Happy Sorry if this is shaky, guys. My <laughs> I tried to double task here. All right, hang on a second. Do you want this light over by you? This flashlight. Uh, give me the lid. Oh my god! I, I got the lid. Okay. Give me a flashlight. Thank you. All right, I'm good. Shit, actuate the lever. Thank you. Uh, whew. Yep. Feels good, bro! Does it? It's shiny. So good. Based on how much I can hear out of this, I don't know how much noise dampening is going on. It's a lot. Uh. Ah! You all right in there? Everything's cool. I could lock him in. Okay, come on over this side. Okay. Actuate the thing to unlock it. You okay? Huh? That was close. What? Are you alright? You good? Take the more vertical you take that, it gets a lot easier to hold. I can't reach that high. So hand it here. Now grab it lower. You good? Yeah, your camera's freaking out. Why is my camera freaking out? Because I almost dropped it. You almost dropped the camera? But I caught it in midair. Oh! I, wow. I think I pressed something. <sighs> that was fun. We should we should get together like this. Yeah. More often. This is, everything is very black. Everything is very, what did you do? It was, was saying one what out of you? 30 and now it's saying one out of a thousand. What the fuck did you do? You're in the, you're in HFR for fuck's sake. I didn't mean to, but you just be happy I didn't drop it on the ground. <laughs> hope that got on, on record because it was amazing. Maybe? I don't think you actually got that. Uh, Damn. But we'll see. Okay, so I'm done with those. This goes back in the holster. Um, done with those. Done with you. Was that good for you? Alright. So I got the audio of that for sure. Muted from inside the compartment and flashlight. Yeah, we gotta clean everything tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But as of this moment, that latches, unlatches, is mounted, is soundproofed. What's with that screw on the end? What screw on the end? This screw? Yeah. Uh, it didn't quite engage right. Okay. But I got six out of seven. 
and I'll fuck with that when it's daylight and outside and I can see it because I probably got to do some things. You gonna lift this down, please? Yeah, I am. Okay, you got it. Okay, you ready? Yep. And now we turn these. And the real purpose of the latches, like the number one purpose of the latches. So we don't have to strap it. So we don't have to strap it going down the road. Mm -hmm. that, that securely, either one of those would latch this enough. The weight alone should latch it. Yeah. But either one of those should latch it enough. And together, they're divine. And, oh yeah, this is, this is life. Jet boat life, yo. It's done. It's completely done. It's finished. How do you feel about that? There is nothing in the world I want more at this moment than to be laying on this downtown in the harbor mm -hmm. under the stars laying right here. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be really cool. We will get there. But for now, it's done. And the only downside to the whole thing aside from the decisive lack of uh, gas springs, is uh, that this vinyl now looks so much better than, than the rest. anything else on the boat. But you need some like vinyl bleach or something. We, we, need, we need some vinyl restoration. Some intense vinyl cleaner. Or I need a sewing machine and to really know what the fuck I'm doing and just to rebuild all yeah. these because I do these in white, I do blue. these in blue. Um, no, I do the outside ones in blue. I do the center in purple um, for mom. And I need to redo the front and mm -hmm. the floor up the front because the whole floor is a big cushion. Um, but yeah, I'll get there. It's for now, a lot better it was. This is way better. I'm really proud of that. That took a fuck of a lot of work. That took way more work than we thought it was going to. Yeah, but that's normal for me. Ah. You guys have fun. That's today's captain's blog. Jet boat deck lid project is complete. Next time you see this boat, it'll be in the water. What are we measuring? The depth. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, captain's blog supplemental for high tech lab. The depth at centerline top is uh, 11 and 5 eighths. The depth down below. Grab the flashlight, please. Yeah, where is it? Uh, on the seat, probably. All right, I'm going to give him just a bunch of dimensions. There was only two he needed. So the depth down below is nine and a quarter. The depth at the outside edge is, let's say, six and a quarter. So, and you're, okay, let's get some some, a serious set of numbers for the man, because I gave him the first set, and he pretty much drew this. Um, but I'll give him some more. So, up an inch from the bottom, and we're gonna, we're gonna, we can add to that quite a bit. We could, we could have two inches of mm -hmm. height. We, we could have three without any issues. Um, but we'll, let's say that one's two inches for the vertical. Now, coming out From the top, because, okay, here's an important thing to note. I'm going to give you a tape measure there. That's not square on the front. Mm -hmm. But it can be, I think. It should be fine. You can just drop it down a little bit. But that tucks up under the thing, which is really stupid. Um, <laughs> so that's how they did it. And we're, from the inner hull, we're about 14 out at present. And that could come out... Quite a bit, actually, 17? but I'm, I'd, I would leave that at four. I'd leave that... 14 or 15. Yeah, I'd, I'd leave it at 14 or 15 for now. We could, if we wanted, go back much further, but I think that would put too much force on the transom if somebody was standing on it like 19 inches out. Yeah. Um, but it'd be kind of cool because it'd give us a whole safety shroud around this. Um, so... Yeah, this this is sort of weird how it comes in. Yeah, you should, well, take a look in here. You can see that it mounts up and in. Those are the two main mounting points up in there. 
So I'm going to get you some numbers here. Inside across, overall length is about 17 and a half. Focus. There we go. Okay, at the top. Mm -hmm. And, uh,. So, I'm going to hold that there right on the seam, and you can see the angle that it comes out at. Yep. It comes down 8 inches from the top, but that's the radius. There's, there's a big bull radius up on top there. Yep. So, yeah. So, iTech was asking about how this reverses. This is the reverser here, mm -hmm. and when this is, I can't do it from here, but this, this part moves. When we're in forward, this hatch is up. is up, and it just shoots straight out. When we're in reverse, this drops down, and it has a basically a reversing duct, and it shoots out here. And reverse on these is a dog. Reverse just sucks. But you only need it to back away from a dock, so it's fine for that. There's leaves in there. How about the intake? How's the intake look? They actually look kind of clean. There you go. So yeah, this is the actual jet nozzle on it. Um, and there's there's your look under the jet boat. And that's today's Captain's Vlog. Thank you, High Tech Lab. See ya. Ah!